In this video, we're going to look at how to evaluate a surface. All right, so let's create a surface really quick. Just something basic. All right, so we've got some curve. Let's give it a little bit more curvature. So it's pending a little bit. All right, so we create a curve, and let's change this viewport to shaded. So we have some curve, and we want to evaluate the value at a certain point on the curve in 3D space to give us a point. Uh, now, unlike a, or like a, a curve, a surface has a domain, but it has it in two directions, and a, what's usually called the U direction and the V direction, similar to X and Y. In other systems, there's actually a Z, a, sorry, a W, a U, V, W. But because it, the surface is two-dimensional, at least it thinks it's two-dimensional, it's only U and V, only two dimensions. So each of the dimensions actually has a domain, and that is an indicator of the length of that, that domain there. So what we need to do is first capture the surface, then get the domains in the U and the V, and then uh, evaluate... Uh, the curve, evaluate the surface at a point within the range of U and V. So let's start off by importing the RhinoScript syntax. Then we're going to say sort of equals rs.get object, and we're going to say select surface. And we can go over to the, the get object here in the help and see that the filter for a surface or a poly surface is 8 or 16. In this case we're only going to do single surfaces not poly surfaces. So we just put in an 8 and that will ensure that it's a surface that's selected. All right. The next thing that we want to do is we want to collect the domain in the U. So we'll create a variable called domain U and say rs.surface domain you can see there are a lot of other surface methods and surface things that you can do as well. So we've got surface domain. We put in the name of the surface. When we look down at the help, we see the surface ID, the name of the surface, or the, um, the GUID that represents that surface, and the direction. So the direction is the U or the V. So 0 is U and V is 1. So we put in a 0 here to get that domain. And we'll do the same for the V direction. Again, this is very similar to like X and Y directions. It's just in a different space, the NURBS space, the NURBS surface space. So now we have these, and let's just print them out to see what we have. All right, and we select the surface, and it prints out the range 0 to 59 and 0 to 77. All right, so now what we want to do is actually create a point that is going to be in the U in the V within the U and the V domain. So let's just call this point U. And it'll say domain U. And we're gonna take the first value of this because sorry, the second value of this domain U because that's the length, and subtract the first value, which is the zero. Alright, and that gives us the entire length of this of this domain. And then let's multiply by 0.25. Alright. And then really we should back add back in the domain u zero if it's not if that value is not zero. In a simplified version, this really should could just be u equals domain u one times zero point two five. In the case where the first value here is zero, you can leave this part and this part out. But if it's not zero, you want the more robust form here. All right, so let's just leave that out and let's say v equals domain v take the length of it and let's do 0.75 All right, so let's do 0.5 All right. now what we want to do is we want to create a point or to store the x, y, and z coordinates when we do rs.evaluate surface and then, then that we need to put the surface and we also need to put the u and the v so we put the u comma v. Alright, and then if we pr 
print the value of point, it should tell us this, this location. And then let's add point. And then it should show up on our surface right here. So you can see it's halfway in the V and 0.25 in the U. All right, and that's how you create that's how you create a point or any other thing where you need to evaluate the surface at a, a surface dom a surface coordinates using U and V that are within the domain of the surface in U and V to return a value in X, Y, and Z in Euclidean space that you can use.